Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have talked about Super Sukhoi upgrade with most important component of upgrade being Uttam AASA fire control radar. Now as per reports from Delhi Defense Review the TOT for Uttam AASA radar has been given to HL by DRDO. Uttam AASA radar will also be integrated in other fighter jets such as this Mark 1A which has already taken its first flight on 28th May this year and is slated to begin its delivery by 2024 while the TOT for Uttam FCR has been given to HL the PSU will take another one year at least to further fine tune the fire control radar for the LCA Tejas it has also been reported that this Mark 1A will feature Uttam AS radar only from 41st unit onward earlier it was reported that uttam ais radar will be integrated from 21st unit onward which means that out of the order of 73 tejas mark 1a fighter jet only 33 of them will get uttam ais radar however this is not a matter of concern as we have to remember the fact that this is the first time india is developing its own ais fire control radar and now integrating it The remaining 40 Tejas Mark 1A will have Israel's ELM 2052 AASA fire control radar. The Israel AASA radar has also been equipped on board Jaguar Darien 3 fighter jets of the Air Force. Learning from the Darien 3 upgrade and experience, it will be much easier for HL to integrate ELM 2052 radars on LCA Tejas. The Israel's FCR has been selected for LCA program ahead of the derivative of French Thales RBE2 radar which powers Rafale fighter jets. The ELM 2052A radar will act as a stopgap measure till HL calibrate and fine tune the Uttam A radar as per the LCA Tejas need. The Uttam A FCR is a full solid state Kalium Arsenide based active electronically scanned radar or AAS radar it is liquid cooled radar in which increasing or decreasing the number of tier modules is quite easy depending on the fighter jets no scope it has total 18 modes in air to air air to ground and ground to sea roles uttam has 95% indigenous component with only one imported subsystem uttam radar is to feature in this mark 1a will have close to 780 tier modules whereas this mark 2 will feature close to 992 and su30 mki as a part of super sukhoi upgrade will feature 1280 tier modules if you compare the capabilities of elm2052 with uttam aas radar the results are quite interesting The Israel's FCR has a range of 90 km for the object of RCS 1 meter square whereas Uttam FCR has a range of 150 km for the object of RCS 2 meter square. We have also seen Uttam locking LCA Tejas from a range of 140 km which is quite significant because LCA Tejas as we know has RCS of just 0.5 meter square. Uttam can track up to 100 targets whereas ELM2052 can track up to 64 targets while Uttam has maximum range of 190 plus kilometers ELM2052 has a range of 200 kilometers from the comparison we can clearly understand that Uttam is better than ELM2052 in many aspects air to air mode is where Uttam has exceeded the expectation it also has advanced NCTR and imaging capabilities This was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector